So here we are, just at the end of our morning prayer. Attuned by the prayer. And ready for our meditation for this week. For those of you joining us after morning prayer and through YouTube and so on, this is the 21st of December, the winter solstice. Before our morning prayer, those gathered, discussed, uh, the phenom phenomenon that is going to appear in the in the heavens this evening at sunset the planets Saturn and Jupiter coming into line and the appearance of a bright star as a result which uh, many call the, the Bethlehem star and uh, it may have been that this occurrence two thousand years ago, but in any kind in any case it hasn 't happened for the last eight hundred years so if the rain stops and the clouds uh, give us some space, we might be able to see this tonight of course, for our ancestors. Solstice, the turning of the year, the rebirth of light in the womb of the darkness of winter was one of their most important celebrations of the year, a spiritual practice of the year. We're close to Christmas now. Just a few days in the Christ light. In the baby, in the manger. The Christ light reborn in us as we have waited through Advent. Lighting candles in our churches and many of them each week on the Advent wreath the candle of hope hope in the darkness of winter hope in the darkness of our condition sometimes when we are sad or when we are oppressed or feel that we are oppressed the hope like light like a candle in the dark the candle of peace not just the peace that is the opposite of war but the peace that is with us even in war the Christ peace the peace of God which passes all understanding which keeps our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of Christ that Greek word gnosis, knowledge one of the words used by Peter in his second letter which we read this morning and which we may come back to in our meditation. Knowledge and experience. The peace candle. 
and the fourth, the third candle, one, two, third candle of joy, like the joy of the shepherds receiving the news of the angels. Christ, the isness, is here among you, for you, in the perceived lowliness of your condition, Christ has come to you. What joy is the response when we receive that news? Rejoice. Call the shepherd candle also. And then just yesterday, lighting the fourth candle, candle of love. The love of God. Again, it passes all understanding. It just is. We don't deserve it. We can't strive for it. It's there. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. I will put the readings that we read uh, underneath this, this video. But the Hebrew reading was that of the suffering servant, well known, of course, used uh, in Holy Week. where the Christ is envisioned by the prophet Isaiah. Not as the, the glorious freedom fighter of the expectation of popular, uh, popular belief among pre-Christian Hebrews. Not that great king on a throne who would banish the Romans and any other, the Philistines, whoever was uh, in control at any given time, the British Empire. Not this one. Yes, this one, but not in that way. one marred of appearance, apparently hopeless, crucified, vilified, mocked, beaten, tortured, silenced, irrelevant, this one. but through the appearance of whom may be seen the Christ. The Christ that does not need to defend Christ's self. The Christ that is And on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, Midnight Mass, we will light the Christ candle. Remember, no with Gnosis, 
experience. The reality that Christ is with us, here, among us, within us. despite all appearances. Peter, in his letter, reminded us And he says he will do it repeatedly while he is in his body to the readers of his letter. So that when he is gone, just as Jesus taught him, you, the readers of the letter, we, the receivers of it today, may be able to recall these things. What are these things? Faith supported with goodness. Goodness supported with knowledge, gnosis, wisdom. Knowledge supported with self-control. Self-control with endurance endurance with godliness godliness with mutual affection remember Jesus telling us love God this is the commandment love God with your whole heart with your mind with all your strength and love each other as you love yourself mutual affection affection with love life godliness everything that is needed comes through the gnosis through the knowledge of Christ the experience, the wisdom to be able to see the suffering servant and see the Christ externally in our scripture internally in us externally in the world internally in us the endurance the repeating the discipline these things are our prayer prayer life morning prayer evening prayer centering prayer at the beginning of the day at the end of the day whatever it is whatever is your rhythm Jesus going out by the sea in the morning and I'm out into the mountains as the sun goes down pray without ceasing whatever is your rhythm it's not entertainment it's not an add-on and it requires discipline. It is the core of your life. We are called to action, but the action needs to come from this core.
This morning, let us practice together. Appropriate, I, I feel, at uh, this time of winter solstice to practice with light. External light and the internal light of the kingdom of heaven within us may be just just let yourself have one of those uh, those visions that are so sentimentalized on Christmas cards and yet not without meaning of the star above the manger the light there that the the wise people followed above the, the manger the outhouse animal place and of course in the paintings and the cards the Christ child, the mother, and Joseph. And so often the light from the, the child illuminating the faces of Mary and Joseph and of the animals and of the straw on the ground illuminating far, far brighter even than the star above. Just see the scene for a moment. The light of the star, the light of the Christ is one light. But we will begin our meditation with external light. Peter tells us, repeat, 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 keep, keep practicing. So this practice you might like to repeat this evening. With the light from the alignment of the planets. As some people are saying, this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. There are a thousand concepts for every light. None of it matters. The light matters. So repeat it if you like this evening. But for now, the sun is giving us light. It's behind the clouds where I am. So the light is spread, ref refracted, reflected. But it's coming from the point, the sun. Which appears as a ball in the sky, of course but in reality is much, much bigger than the earth on which we sit or stand. Okay, let's become aware of our breath. Just breathing in and breathing out. And noticing that.
Here I am breathing. Here I am sitting. I am conscious of my feet on on the earth. As I sit with my back straight and my feet firmly on the earth. I have my palms and my hands resting just above my knees. At the moment they are facing down, they may face up. Particularly as I want to focus on the receiving of light, I may just face palms up. At the moment, palms down to the earth, receiving from the earth. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. Just be aware. If you're sitting. And of your body. And your connection to the earth. From here, very often, I will just receive the energy from the earth, but right now, let us focus on the light of the sun above us, penetrating the window. If our curtains are open. if not peeking through any gaps. In this practice we will become aware of the light aware of our bodies, aware of our minds, aware of our hearts. Aware of the kingdom of heaven within our hearts, within every atom, every cell. every fiber of our material being because our eternal being dwells here now Let a beam, a ray from the sun shine on you and in you. Envisage it, notice it. There are very many of them, but just one will do for now. A shaft of light. Surrounding your body and penetrating. And enlightening you to awareness as it moves around and through your body.
let this shaft of light show you the parts of your body that are tense knotted parts of your body where anxiety collects often unconsciously contracts the muscles when a muscle is contracted too long it becomes knotted hurts it's not natural for it to stay like that when you are training in the gym the muscles will tense but you release Let the light show you the tension in your body. And as you become aware of those areas, just consciously relax. shaft of light from the sun has healing power in it and as you breathe in you can intensify this light or intensify your awareness of the light and as you breathe out send it to those areas that are being illuminated now those areas in you that you are being conscious being brought to consciousness of send that light like healing like the hand of Christ into those parts of the body that are tense There's nothing to judge here. Your body is God given, it is beautiful. But you don't need to quantify it. Just watch the light. Let the light illumine the part of your body now that is incredibly relaxed, the most relaxed part of your body. Go there with the light. Continue breathing light into it. And let the energy of this relaxed muscle, organ, area, let that filter out through your body. So 
so your entire body becomes as relaxed as free Your mind, your brain is, is part of your body. Generates an incredible amount of thoughts. It's pointless even trying to count the, the ones we're having right now. It's a generator of thoughts. A storehouse of thoughts, information, memory. Probably because of the so-called age of enlightenment, many people in the world believe that this organ in the body, again, beautiful as it is, is who they are. It's not. It will die like every other part of the body. Return to dust. But it is given to us here, now. All of the light as she penetrates the brain, the mind, illuminates. Notice the thoughts that you can see passing I'll let them be just like clouds in the light there's nothing wrong or right with them sometimes they have an enormous power over us it can become all consuming but only because we let them. As the light brings healing, so just let the thoughts be there. And let the light heal. And just know that no thought is so valuable, you have to cling on to it, or so compelling. The power is given to you. To engage or let go. both are appropriate at different times but now just light breathe heal
Breathe in, receive the light. Breathe out, send the light now to your heart. The center of your body, the center of the universe. Uncountable vastness, eternity. Oh, here the, the light of the star, the light of the sun meets the light of Christ. Which light is which light? It no longer matters. If you want to know who you are, Gnosis. Ochma. Wisdom. Miriam. Christ. Yeshua. I am that the words fade, concepts fade, names fade, stillness, eternity. This world, this universe will pass away. The vibration, the word will not pass.
to call you back into a, a communicative state but like thought you don't have to I'm doing it just because it is the discipline of our structure but you can stay where you want to be or come back to to communicate in, uh, in this language but let's if you're coming back then now um, do it slowly, just gently. I, I think I might play something to help, and then uh, I will mute myself. <laughs> 